Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. We just said goodbye forever to our RV. We're doing it. We're setting her on fire and setting her free. Just kidding. We're actually just taking ourselves a little bit of a vacation. Because oh. as much as we love working on the RV, you guys know <laughs> it can be pretty stressful. Oh, oh Lord. Ah! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. here. We decided we needed. Oh, this is getting all bent. Ugh. We decided that we needed to take some time apart. We're not breaking up officially, but we're just separating. Just a little separation, a little trial separation. Hopefully it'll reinvigorate all of us. <laughs> also, if you're wondering why Allison is all blurry over here, it's because I dropped my camera face first on the lens. So now part of the lens is blurry. The rest of it looks okay over here though. Hopefully it isn't too annoying having half of the frame blurry. <laughs> In all seriousness though, we are going on a little weekend vacation. We are heading to Tennessee. Ooh. We are going to be staying on a farm. We found this awesome spot that should be pretty isolated in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I gotta admit it feels a little bit weird packing up, filling oh our God. car again. Packing this morning. I was really rusty at it. It took yeah. me forever. <laughs> also, if you guys didn't see, this is our new car, our Dodge Durango, but we've only just gotten our registration in the mail. So it really feels like we're in a rental car or I something. Know. I haven't gotten used to <laughs> I, it yet. Because we've only driven it maybe a handful of times, but we've had it for a month now. Yeah. But we figured this would be a good opportunity to give you guys a little bit of an update on the RV project, where we are so far, what we have spent so far, mm -hmm. what the next projects are that we're gonna be working on inside. Before we do that, we are gonna grab some coffee from one of our favorite coffee shops in our small little Missouri town. We finally have a cool coffee shop and I'm so excited, coffee, coffee, coffee. And that's before she's had coffee. <laughs> I'm just so excited about the thought of coffee. Cheers. Oh, to sweet, sweet coffee. Coffee time. Yeah, so this uh, little Foxtrot coffee is in our downtown area, which is a little run down, but yeah. it's trying to make a resurgence. And uh, this coffee shop is one of the cool hip places that moved in and they have great coffee. We do have Starbucks, but that's only when you're like desperate. Really desperate. Yeah. You guys, we suck at road trips. We had to come back to Allison's place because number one, I remembered I have another lens that I think will do the trick. It's nice and wide it to replace that other one. Yeah. And I forgot my bug spray, my sunscreen, my cheeky Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> so now we're ready for this road trip. Oh, maybe we should put We're about an hour into our journey and there's really been not really much to remark on. <laughs> A lot, just just a lot of fields. Corn fields, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> <laughs> but we promised you guys an update on the RV shenanigans. If you caught our previous video, the last thing we were working on was just replacing that floor. It ended up being a huge project, but it had to be done because there was a lot of water damage there. The floor was uneven, and Allison really wants a space where she can work out in, <laughs> so that was not going to work. I didn't want to be worried about like jumping through the floor. Yeah, I could see her have actually fallen through that floor. <laughs> <laughs> but now it is so strong, y'all. We got it nice and insulated. We got all that new aluminum in there. Mm -hmm. We got new OSB down and it is solid. Very good. To give you guys an overall idea of how we're feeling, it's really bittersweet because some days we're super excited. We're really excited to work on specific projects, but then like this floor, it dragged on a little too long and we had a lot of storms that came through and we had found some other leaks in the RV. So that got a little bit frustrating. Yeah, but it gets a bit discouraging yeah. at times. But of course, having all of you guys send us all the positive messages and positive vibes. And a lot of you guys out there have sent us pictures of RVs that you guys are renovating. Oh my gosh. Saying that you're inspired by us. That makes me so happy, but also I want to apologize because yeah. so <laughs> you're sorry. getting into a whole world of hurt. <laughs> Hopefully it's worth it though yeah. in the end. It is very rewarding, but yes. you have to be a certain kind of crazy to undertake <laughs> a project like this. But we do not intend on stopping or giving up yet. No. Okay. We're I'm not going to keep going. Dang it. I'm not going to say that that's always going to be the case, but for now we are still energized and ready to work on this project. We just need a little bit of a vacation. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> now that we have the floor done, we can start on putting the walls back up. That was the main thing that we wanted to do is just put the walls back up, get the whole thing sorted so that we can drive the thing. Yeah. Cause we're a little scared to drive it right now because it doesn't have that much internal support. Then from there, it's going to be working on getting all the electrical stuff run. There's a lot of crazy wiring in there right now that needs to be redone. We do finally need to get our toilet out of there. Uh, yeah, we've been, we've putting, been putting that, that one off. Cause I don't want to know what's in that, that old tank. I'm going to have to take that off and oh, that's going to be a surprise. <laughs> then we're going to 
build that cabinet that we're going to put our refrigerator in. That's going to be a fun project. Mm -hmm. And of course, the bathroom, which we're probably going to do sooner rather than later. We just have to kind of decide what we want. Yeah, we're we've really been looking into, well, yeah, we've never built anything before. We've never designed anything before. Yeah. We just don't know exactly what we would want. We then, want to make sure that we make the right decisions because it's so easy to be down the road and being like, I wish I had done that. I wish I had done that. Yeah. You can only have one chance to you, do it yeah. right. You want it to look really nice, but you also want it to be super sturdy and solid and no yeah. possible leaks ever. I know we thought we found our flooring, but I think we might have really found our flooring and we will have to share that with you guys yes. soon when we get back. We might be using some wallpaper as an homage to the original decor in yeah, there. <laughs> lots of wallpaper in the original. Now, the moment of truth. How much have we spent oh, so far? Oh no. You know, I haven't even heard the tally as of recently. Yeah, I keep track of all the finances so she doesn't <laughs> even know. But uh, I really can't even remember where we were in our last video. I think we were up around seven grand in total. Yeah, the grand total that we have spent, including the RV purchase, the brand new wheels, the registration, and all the other little things that we've bought so far, the materials, we are up to $8,629. Okay. So we are still well under 10K, yeah. you guys, which I honestly did not think we would still be under 10K after all this work. Well, the total we've actually spent on all of the materials and all the little things we'd have, we've had to buy for it, a lot of stuff we haven't even had the chance to use yet, is around $2,965. There you go. Yep. We're also talking with a company that's going to help us completely rebuild the engine. Yes, of the you vehicle. guys always comment about the engine. We're spending all this time on the inside, make sure that it actually runs. Do not worry, we will get there. We will yeah. make it beautiful and sparkling and run like a little a kitten. Purr like Purr a kitten? Like sense. a little kitten. I don't know. Run like a cheetah. Some kind of analogy about a, a <laughs> about fast cats, moving feline. <laughs> about felines, that, the best, the most optimal analogies this about felines. And there's a bunch of stuff that we're still gonna have to pay for out of pocket, like uh, the transmission still needs some work. Mm -hmm. We want to add um, electronic fuel injector. That's a thousand dollar upgrade right there. So there is a lot of stuff that we're gonna have to foot the bill for, but we're trying to save where we can. But that's all to be determined and gonna be coming up in later videos. So you, you guys will just have to stay tuned and see how all that unfolds. Oh man. But we're so excited about the possibility of rebuilding that engine, because it's gonna be so much smoother after that. I don't even remember what it's like to drive the thing, honestly. Yeah. It's just been parked for so long. All right, update done. If you guys have any questions about anything that we haven't covered or about our experience with the RV or what it's cost or anything like that, just leave a comment below and we'll try to get to it. And if any of you guys are taking on an RV project of your own, keep those pictures coming because we love <laughs> seeing the progress. We have multiple people that we're keeping up with their progress as we're making progress. Yeah, and it also makes us feel a little bit better and not so alone in this. Yeah, we have other people <laughs> in the trenches with us. Yeah. <laughs> and we can bounce ideas off of them, which is always really helpful. Yeah, it's been Oopsie. very helpful. Oh, drop the audio. Oops. It's just been really helpful to chit chat with some of y'all and hear the problems you're going through. Some of you are much further than us. Mm -hmm. Some of you have thought of things that we had never considered before. So it's been great, a nice little community. All right, we're going to get back on the road and hopefully have something to show off because so far this has been one of the more boring <laughs> road trips. I mean, it's nice we're not on highways, but there there is nothing, just houses and fields. Check this thing out, you guys. Oh my <laughs> word. You thought ours was vintage. <laughs> That's oh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> Your destination is on the right. I think we've made it. There's Gratitude Ranch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we already have the cutest puppies in the this land. This is my favorite thing <laughs> ever. Hey, puppy. So do we just check him with you or no? Nope? Okay, bye bye. Come here, buddy. Come here. <laughs> What's your name? This is the best welcome ever. Oh my gosh. Just getting sniffed by some dogs. <laughs> and there's a bunch of goats over there. Yeah, don't worry, you guys. We will give you a proper tour tomorrow. Oh yeah. But we've been here for two minutes, and this place is already charming the pants off of us. Two nights was. <laughs> For sure not enough yeah. already. It's not enough. I just grabbed a gate opener from the mailbox. I put a little uh, donkey, I think, on it. It's little touches like that that make a place. Poor Vu. Thank you, sir. Goats seem all cute, but they're kind of intimidating when they're this friendly. <laughs> hey, buddy, do you bite? It's 
so charming. You guys, Allison went to a nearby Publix and just left me here because I had to edit. Got my little workstation over there, actually editing this video right now. But boy, did a huge storm blow through. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it was so loud a second ago because it's a tin roof. Let me open the door. Oh yeah. It is proper storming out here, you guys. <laughs> How'd it go? Oh, man. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be a nice little ride to the grocery store. I didn't know I was gonna get caught in a freaking tsunami. <laughs> Dear Lord. Are you soaked? I mean. Oh, you're nice and wet. <laughs> <laughs> Just so wet. Well, that you was, did it, kid. Thanks I for going to the store for us. <laughs> we'll say I am so glad we have our new vehicle because there was so much flash flooding and branches in the road and everything. Our little car might have had trouble. Oh baby, it was all worth it because now it's dinner time. And check out these cool meal kits that Publix has. They have a hot plate, so mm -hmm. we're going to use that and then whip up a, you know, super quick casual masterpiece. Yeah, exactly. A quick casual masterpiece. Our specialty. Dinner is served. <laughs> you are quite the chef. Look at me go. It's a <laughs> culinary masterpiece, right? Thanks, Publix. <laughs> it smells amazing. I'm very excited for this. But I guess this is the end for the night. We're just going to snuggle up and watch a movie in bed, and it's going to be magical. But tomorrow, like we said, we will give you a full tour of this little cottage, of the farm. They even have tomorrow night this amazing farm-to-table dinner that we are going to do. They told us about it last minute, we were like... Sign, Sign us up. up. We will be there. It's literally in the barn and it comes with wine and I am very excited about it. It's super chill, yeah. you know? It's a vacation. It's just going right? with the flow. Yeah. Low stress. That is the, the goal of all of this. No exactly. stress. Exactly. Because our day to day with the RV is very high stress, I feel like. Yeah. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>